So this is just an update video. If you saw my last video about my uh, last Mad Max style post-apocalyptic vehicle that I built out of a Jeep and a Mustang, you'd have seen I had these two other vehicles. I had a Jeep and a pit, uh, well, no, not a Jeep. Um, this Volkswagen Beetle. I had a Volkswagen Beetle and a pickup truck, which used to be Kenner SSP stock car smash up cars. But anyway. Um, yeah, this is the Beetle. It's finished apart from paint. Um, yeah, it was missing a bonnet, so I made this bonnet out of a bit of a truck. So it's got a front grille now, which it wouldn't need necessarily, but who knows? Maybe it's had a front engine fitted. Maybe it's got two engines now, one in the front, one in the back. But anyway, um, yeah, this is how I wanted to build it. We've got wheels fitted. Um, it had no wheels before. Yeah, I had a vision of it with spikes along the roof and along the back. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty mean, I think. It was missing a door, so I've made a door out of some other bits of plastic. And uh, it's actually a bit of Lego, but it looks pretty good because they'd have to make doors out of whatever they had to hand. It's got a rear bumper on it as well. I really like the stance, I think it looks really cool. And on this side the uh, door is made from the bonnet of a Mustang which I just cut out. Yeah, I just cut the Mustang bonnet to, as a fit and uh, made a door panel out of that. I didn't go overboard on the armour plating on this one, I thought I would leave it, leave the um, you know, side windows open so perhaps the guy can lean out with a weapon or something. So yeah, he can take aim at some other vehicles and uh, protect himself that way and also that means if the vehicle rolls over he can make a quick exit and he's not trapped in by the armour plating so that's why I left the windows a bit open but uh, put mesh on the windscreen and uh, side windows to in the back to protect from uh, flying debris but yeah it just needs paint and then it's finished on that one so it's waiting for paint at the moment and here is the pickup truck here is the yeah. Here's the pickup truck. So this camera is useless. It keeps going out of focus. Anyway, um, yeah, this had no wheels either. It was a like I say one of these Kenner SSP stock car smash up cars originally. Yeah, the missing a door panel. So I made a door panel for this out of the other half of the Mustang bonnet. So yeah, this is a waiting paint as well. This is all put together apart from paintwork. Obviously, it needs painting, but. Um, I thought I'd just put this video together and show you guys what, uh, how it's looking now it's finished, apart from paint. Part of the reason I've not painted it yet is because I actually quite like the colours. It is already, so I don't actually know what colour to paint it. I don't want to do it in matte black, so I'm a bit not decided what I'm going to do about the paintwork yet, what colour to paint it yet. But anyway, you can see it's got a blower fitted on the top. My modelling skills aren't very good to be honest, so I just see what look, what looks good and I'll stick it on there and um, yeah. It's got mesh on the windscreen obviously. It was missing a bonnet, I've put an, it's got an extra bumper on the top for extra decoration. It's got, um, yeah it's got this pretty mean uh, metal grid on the front, where well, obviously it's orange plastic but when it's painted it looks like metal hopefully. Painted that rusty metal and it's got that sort of grid on the front which hopefully will do some damage to any vehicles it comes into contact with. Um, yeah, the engine detail is crap because I'm not very good at doing all that kind of stuff, but it's it's good enough for me. I'm happy with it. It's got the original door it would have it had when it was a SSP stock car smash up toy, so that looks pretty good. I love all the dents and damage on it. it looks really really cool. And I've put this sleeping pod on the back. Yeah, it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but when it's painted, it should look really good. But yeah, it's got this pod on the back, which uh, again I made to fit from a truck and exhaust pipes, which again, it's sort of randomly fitted. But yeah, when it's with paint, it should look good. On the back, we've got this um, this gun turret with a gun on it, which is made from the front end of a Ford Mustang. So that's I'm quite pleased with that. That looks quite cool. So someone can stand on the back and arm the gun, fire at vehicles behind, and uh, but as a Ford Mustang, is a little turret looks really good, I think. So it'll look good when it's painted. 
yeah, the pod on the back I thought would be good for sleeping or storage or anything, and it's got this hatch on the top for access, so we could get in and out through the hatch on the roof. And again, I've left the uh, side windows open, so it can be um, so you can, you can lean out with some kind of weapon or something and uh, fire at people. Um, with, yeah, so you can fire at people without uh, being uh, stuck in there with all the armor plating on the side. And, um, yeah, I just thought I just it'd be better. And again, if the vehicle flips over, you can jump out the window. <laughs> So, because in the in the Mad Max films and uh, you know the wasteland vehicles they have at the wasteland weekend, a lot of them don't have this side armor plating on anyway. A lot of them have open windows, so especially in the Mad Max films. So I thought I'd leave it like that. So that's those two, just awaiting paint. I'll do another video when I get them painted because they should have, should look a whole lot different with paint on them and uh, weathering and rust effects and everything else. But that's how they're looking now. And I've also also recently bought off eBay some more of these Kenet SSP cars to do as Mad Max vehicles. So this one is a yeah. So um, this is a Chevy Nomad. Um, obviously badly damaged because it was this uh, stock car smash up car smash up toy. So it comes with all these ready made dents and damage, which looks pretty cool. And then we've got this other one, which I think. Which I think this is meant to be a 1950s Ford, have some description, but yeah, lots of dents and damage in that as well. So yeah, that's those two. So they're in the pipeline to be done next as Mad Max vehicles. Obviously, they'll need wheels fitting and attaching as well, like I did with the last two with the Beetle and the pickup. But uh, I've got wheels to fit on them. I don't know quite what I'm going to do about the interiors. The interiors on these are pretty poor, so have to custom make some interiors for them I think but yeah that's those two and this this was another one of them because I've got a set of three but I'm going to leave this one as it is this is one of the Kenner SSP stock car smash up vehicles as well and this is the central flywheel I was talking about if you can see there probably out of focus again but yeah it's got a central flywheel which uh, it rolls along like that on that these wheels on the side are dummy wheels Hang on. Yeah, sorry for the shaky camera work. I just do this with my phone and it goes out of focus all the time. It's pretty useless, but anyway. Um, yeah, so these wheels on the side are fake wheels and uh, it had a door and you can see the little springy thing there that pokes the door off when it hits. Yeah, there's this uh, sticking out bit on the front when that hits a wall or any object. Another car, it springs the bonnet and the doors off. So the bonnet and doors are missing off all these toys, but I can make other ones up. Look, Mad Max vehicles in the post apocalyptic world, they just make doors and panels out of whatever, or just leave the doors and doors and panels off off completely. But I just love all the damage and dents these come with. It will look really, really good painted up. I'm going to leave that one as it is, but the other one is the same. So, um, yeah, these painted up will look really, really cool. And I've got a Mad Max car as well, the original V8 Interceptor. Yeah, I bit the bullet and bought the green light 124 scale Mad Max V8, inter V8 Interceptor from the film. Um, I'm not really very happy with it, to be honest. I got the 164 scale version and it was a much better model. Because this is supposed to be jacked up at the back. The, um, the car in the film has got slightly higher rear suspension and a slightly wider wheel on the back. This has got the same size wheels on the front and the back. It's not jacked up and the... Those exhaust pipes aren't quite the right. They should all be the same, the same length, and they're sort of stacked. Uh, uh, well, on on the slant. I don't know. I don't really like it at all. And this, I went for the weathered version, and this was really covered in this weathering paint. This mud paint was all over it. Really, really thick. You couldn't see. You couldn't see any of the details. Like these headlights were obscured. Everything was just covered in this mud paint. It was over. It was just completely over the top. Um, so what I did, I got a scouring pad and I just took most of it off. Yeah, I removed most of this, as much of this paint as I could with a scouring pad and it took a long while to get it down to the black paint again. I wanted it to look black with a bit of bit of weathering on it, but not caked in the stuff. It's one of my fingers in the lens again. But as you can see, it's not looking too bad. I really like the way it looks now. It looks... It looks Sort of looks half decent, actually does look pretty good now, I think. With the sort of dust and 
muddied uh, in around the edges. You see, it's got the blue light in the front in the uh, front of the dashboard, the police light. Yeah, you can sort of see there. You can see the gear shift and everything. The engine sticks out too high as well on the bonnet, but I'm not really too bothered to be honest. What I am bothered about is how these windows look. They're a right mess. Um, yeah, the detail on the back. It's a really nice model. I do actually like it, but I think they could have done a better job than they have. It's just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, this back end doesn't look, it's not sitting right. It should be higher up at the back, I'm sure, but it is what it is. But anyway, I mean, now I've got most of that muddy paint off and it actually looks black again. And you can see the details on the, uh, I'll get it to focus. Hang on a minute. Well, it's not brilliant anyway, but yeah, you can see the police badge there anyway. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. I, I was thinking about sawing off the um, front spoiler bit. You know, sawing off this front lower spoiler like to make it a model of the car from the second film. And taking the back window and the back panel out, but I don't think I'll bother because my skills aren't really up to that, to be honest. Yeah, my modelling skills are a bit crap. I was just like making things and building things and... Uh, I do it to my own sort of standards, which other people's standards are a lot higher, but I know I sort of have a, my patience runs out and I've got a short attention span. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But anyway, but yeah, this engine sticks up too high, but look at the windscreen. It's completely shot. So, um, yeah, it's all scratched and it was a mess anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is stay at the side windows. It's awful. And the back window is pretty bad as well. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the windows in this car. Yeah, I'll remove the, I'll take the glass out and uh, the wipers are separate, so that should be fine. I'll take the glass out. I'll see if I can clean it up. And if I can't, I'll just replace the windows because I want them looking shiny again. It should have shiny windows, not not scratched up matte finish windows. So anyway, so I'll replace the windows on that at some point. And, um, and uh, that's the Mad Max lineup for now. So... Replace the windows on that. Got two new cars to build up and two waiting for paintwork. So uh, there we go. Watch this space and hopefully we'll get them all finished. And we'll end up with five Mad Max vehicles at the end of it. Five, five post apocalyptic vehicles. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching anyway. Um, and we'll, we'll see, how we, see how we go and uh, we'll get them finished. Watch this space. Cheers, take care, bye.